Bruce Lee's JKD Jikin Do Economy of Motion. I believe one of the most important concepts and principles in Jikin Do. Again, I have my Sifu joining me today. So Sifu, talk to us a little bit about what does that mean, economy of motion. All right. You know, at ordinary boxers, they start off here with their hands, right? And they ask you to, to punch from here to here and bring it back to the face. It would be considered economy of motion. You don't want somebody to throw a rear punch this way. So you can wind up. Right, yeah, yeah. If, if they're doing this kind of thing, it's winding up, it's telegraphing, etc. So we look at it from tools point of view. So the tools are actually economical. At the same time, also in fighting, you have to be very economical. An example here, if, if my... If, if an assailant was right behind us and he was about to approach and say, hey, buddy, and he's, he's uh, touching me here, I'm not going to go wind up and boom, right, hit him in the head. It's a matter of, you know, you feel threatened. I don't know, depending on the environment and the context of what's going on, right? As soon as I feel something, it's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm just immediately hitting from point A to point B. Kind of the, the shortest distance. Correct. Right, so if, if he was there, that's, that's what I'm doing, and I would apply my entire body into it because then I can just fire and continue firing. So very, very effective, but as soon as I feel something, you know, I can hit low, I can hit to the groin, and come back to the head. Just a matter of being very economical with your strikes, so from point A to point B, or wherever that target is. And then what about in terms of like defense? If economy motion, is it the, the we because I know we don't do a lot of blocking and block like two, three, five other times before you hit, right. hit it back. Um, if you happen to parry, uh, you, you're doing it intentionally because you're doing it on the second intention. So let's say I wanted him to think I was parrying, mm. then I baited him to that. So if I wanted, if he was throwing, a, let's see, Jack, if you could get in frame, and he threw a cross punch, you know, we're just, you know, thinking here. The slip is happening at the same time I'm hitting, right? I'm not going slip hit or catch hit, right? I'm just going whack in, right? And that's what's economical is that my, my attack is there. Also too, in the point of, in reference to fighting. So do I, again, go back to the context of a fighting sport? If that's the case, we're gonna circle around each other. You know, go that way. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're trying to find and we're trying to hit each other. That's not economy of motion. Economy of motion is going in. And a problem that you see, again, if we're talking about what Jeet Kune Do is or isn't, is that if he's bouncing around, okay, you're moving over there, not moving here, nothing's happening. All we're doing is saying, hey, everybody, we're about to fight. Yeah. The idea is once... And people stop calling yeah. themselves. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got the cell phones coming out, everybody's yeah. recording you, and yeah. everybody's saying, hey, yeah. you too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but again, if you're feeling threatened in any way, shape, or form, the economy of motion comes in in, in a direct line, mm -hmm. right? Okay, if it's not there, then it's switching to one or another. But it's not going, let's put our hands up, okay? It's not it at all. Yeah, that's an entirely different thing. Now your defense mechanism is around your ego, yep. not necessarily yep. defending yourself. Because if you had to bring your hands up, I had to bring my hands up. Okay, who's who's the winner here? Nobody. And also, I think when you're training, you got to consider if it's a self-defense situation. The more time you give this guy, the more you put yourself in danger. You don't know if he's got friends next year when you put your hand. Some his friends may be behind you, you don't know. You put up your hand, you dance around, he might pull out a weapon, you don't know either. So you gotta be very, very careful. So we're training in terms of to go in, right? So you put the move in. That's correct, that's correct. We've, we've sensed danger. Yes, that's correct. The whole idea, again, if you are gonna be economical with your weapons, that they hit with power. So again, one is hitting, extreme hitting. And you were just talking about multiple opponents. If I were to strike immediately, this guy, I have to come back to something else, right? So I'm just trying to be as economical in my strikes as possible. And we can go back to every single tool, right? The tool is, okay, the jab. So if I teach the jab, it's here. It's not here, or, and if we're pulling the arc principle behind it, and it's not here, it's very short. 
very crisp and it's like a whip. Mm. Yeah. And what about in terms of seafood for other like kicking and stuff, how would that apply? So Jack, can I, for camera purposes, if you're standing the right lead. Okay, so again, winding up from here to here to get this leg to come over is probably too much time. Whereas this, it just goes here. Okay, the whip in itself is the arc and that's where you get that snap and crack. Okay, so there's a difference. So it says, well, you're not getting a lot of power. That's true, I'm sacrificing speed for power, but the speed is gonna develop the arc at the very end, which is the result is the crack. If I can stun the guy and if he hunches, he's gonna, he's gonna come down, right? So if I hit the leg, come down, boom, right. I'm gonna follow up with another hit. If anything, you can come in with a power hit. Economy-wise, again, he's here, he steps in, I hit the leg, he comes down, boom, and this is gonna fire right through. This is the, uh, yeah, that's it. And also, especially if we're aiming, we're training aiming here, but really it's the coin. Yes. You don't need tremendous power here. Correct. Take the guy down, it makes a lot of sense. That's why, economy motion, when you're training, keep that in mind. That's why, see if you always teach me that it's not so much about the techniques, it's the principle when we're training, are we, doing too many fancy moves. It's actually very difficult to keep it simple. Because <laughs> it's so easy. Oh, we add more and add more and add more and right. we can play around with different things. Right. And then we need to simplify it back again. So yeah, economy motion, JKD, it's a principle, it's not a technique. One of the core principles in JKD. Comment below, maybe share with us what's your take and how maybe this has, will help me or has helped you in your training. Doesn't matter what style you are, it's just a principle. This is the first time you're watching a video, make sure you subscribe below. This is a brand new series that we're launching. Every single week we're gonna upload new videos. And so make sure you turn on vacation so you don't miss a single episode. And check out our other JKD videos on the right as well. We have got different playlists, check that out. Until next time, you want to make fun.